Hey, I'm Kevin. EC here. And we're back with another episode of Hands-On Diecast. Yes, and uh, today we are reviewing the... Lamborghini Murcielago LP674SV. <laughs> <laughs> what a mouthful that is. Yes, uh, the model by AutoArt. Yep. So, um, an, an exciting model. Both of us have this in our respective collections. Yes, we do. And uh, one quick message, if you have subscribed or if you have commented on any of our videos, thank you yep. very much. We appreciate it a yes. lot. We I mean, it's really encouragement for us, so keep it coming. Absolutely. So without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah, let's do it. Right. So as usual, we're going to start with the front of the model. And uh, I love the color. Of yeah, this. me too. I mean, it really pops. Yes, it's a turquoise blue greenish ish yeah, tint yeah. but uh, right to, to the front itself first things first probably as you can see in the camera it this is one low mean mother you know what, what, what I was about to yes, say. Yes, it's fierce looking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, as usual, auto art. So, this again is one of the older auto art models made of full die cast. So, you can see the details around, right? Yep. You know, from the from the uh, the perforated mesh through the whole front. Um, I love how they use a different matte color for the, uh, the lower lip spoilers. Yeah, that's a really nice touch. Yeah. And also little bits and bobs, right? Like for example, the very unique uh, shape of the entire front of the Mercer Lago, right? The little curve and the little straight yeah. around the front. Yeah. Um, headlamps, I do like the headlamps a lot. Each of the individual lamp clusters and the indicator lamps have depth. Yep. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, what else, what else do you see so far? Um, I mean, I really like the front of this. There's really not much to complain about. Okay, um, I'd say I really like the headlights. That's kind of uh, my main, like, favorite part of the front, uh, the depth of the headlights and the turning indicators look really good. I'd say the logo though is kind of disappointing. Hmm. I mean, the, the newer auto arts, the logo has, I mean, it looks more metal like this one, just looks like a, a decal. Really? Yeah. Yeah, not to mention yours is a bit damaged. Yeah, I mean, I got mine used, so the, the, <laughs> it's peeling off of it. So, see, I mean, like if it were a higher quality one, it, it wouldn't have this problem. Mm. Uh, probably one more thing to add as well. Meshing, again, meshing right at the front end right. takes behind right. the, uh, the headlamps. So that looks really good to me. Yeah. Yeah, but pretty much the, that's it. All right. Okay, moving on to the side. Mm -hmm. um, man, those wheels. I think those wheels really do it for me. The, the glossy black finish, the decal placement, the calipers, and the the drilled um, rotors. Mm. I think the texture of the rotors, especially. Yep. I mean, all the textures around the tire and the wheel looks really good to me. And then this matte finish that you mentioned with at the front just now. This also looks good. Yep. Um, decal wise, this one's kind of so-so. I mean, I think it could be more detailed and better printed. Mm. Everything else kind of is okay except for the turning indicator here. That's that's quite sad. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, is that a turning indicator or a reflector, but that looks sad. It's mm -hmm. just painted on. Mm. Um, how about you? Uh, <clears throat> I think on the turning indicator, right, is, you know, that, that's what distinguishes this between you know, a, a millennium model and a, and a signature. That's right? true. Yeah. Right. This is just going to be painted. A signature, you would expect to see a clear indicator lamp. Yeah, the um, lens. Yep. On the rims, I think if I can add two more things, I do like them a lot, right? Not to yep. mention how dished the rear rim yep. is. Yep. And also not to mention, right, the details around the front brake calipers. Right. Um, sorry, the front brake disc and then as well as the yellow, you know, that it pops, man. The brake yeah, calipers in yeah. yellow, it pops so much and there's so much depth and the, 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 you're right, I didn't even notice that, like the center hub area of the rotor, they actually bothered to put the detail in yep. there, which is really interesting. The little screws, etc, yeah. so and so forth. Um, other things I like about it, you know, the wing mirror, I think is something really, sp you know, this was something that was very unique about the whole wedge shape yeah. uh, Mercer Lago, right? These wing mirrors really stood out and I think they had to be this wide because yeah, of the because width of the, of the yeah, car. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise you wouldn't see beyond the, the rear fender. Yeah, um, probably in terms of the last couple of things, the little button that's used to open up the door mechanism yeah. Yeah, is definitely way out of scale, right? It doesn't yeah. look like this on a real yeah. car. But I won't complain because these doors, the door mechanism works very well. Yeah, right? I mean, they had to do that. I guess it's a no choice kind of thing, but it works really well. Mm. Um, decal application, absolutely no complaints. That I think it looks great. And this model does have a little party piece, uh, which is the um, the movable uh, air intake. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You wanna, you wanna show them how it works? Um, let's do a separate shot of that. All right, all right. <laughs> we do a separate shot of us moving the air flaps of the, the doors yeah. okay. and the doors as well but yeah cool. other than that, it, it looks good all right 
Right, so to the rear of this model, now I think this is where, you know, this model really stands up because I am absolutely in love with the rear of, of this of, of, of uh, this Marshall Lago right here. Yeah, you do like rears. I do like rears, I am a butt man, um, says nobody. But Can anyway, <laughs> so first things first, right, the wing, look at how massive this rear wing just absolutely towering over yeah, this whole model, yeah, right? Yeah, it's huge. The carbon fiber work, you know, not just across the wing, but on the uprights as well, the yep. struts, yep. I really, really love that. Um, next big thing for me is the lamb clusters. Now, I think personally, this is one of the best lamb clusters I've ever seen on an auto art model. Yeah, there's so much depth to it. Yeah, and like what you pointed out as well is that you can actually see right around the, um, you know, you can see the difference, the, dis the distinction between the indicator lamps and the reverse lamps yeah. on the LED strip, right? Yeah. So, and, um, why don't you, you go next? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, whatever you said, I agree. And I also really like the Lamborghini the, uh, the, the emblem. I mean, it looks good compared to the front one. Mm. And then there's also the third tail light, which they bothered to do a good job on. Yep, yep. The finishing on the tailpipe is accurate to the real car. And if you peek inside, you can actually see the twin tailpipes in there, which mm. I thought, like, nobody sees that, but they bothered to actually make that like the real car, which is cool. Mm. Um, and then the, the fans yes. on both sides, you can see right through the meshing, mm. which is good. The meshing, I think, is on this model is a real standout, right? Like yeah. you said, the, the cooling fans for that massive, what was it, 6.5 uh, liter V12 or something like I that? I can't remember, yeah. But yeah, it needs a heck of a lot of cooling, yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. So yeah, there's so much on, on this model, right? Not to mention the diffuser and they continue with the matte black uh, paint finish around the whole rear, you know, the whole rear assembly yeah. for the I mean, the it's, a, it's a lot of bang for a buck for a millennium model. Mm, absolutely. And probably just across the rear of the model as well, you can see, you know, I think Lamborghini were really trying to go over this like a hexagonal kind of angular look across the whole yeah, engine panel, yeah. right? All carbon fiber, you can you, you can just take a peek at that, that carbon fiber covered one. Yeah, the wing is engine. beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like a decal. It just it looks like the real thing. Mm. Yeah. And not to mention as well, the width. This is where the model is at its widest. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's got so much presence. I really love this. Yeah. Cool, um, let's move on. All right. All right, moving on to the engine bay. Um, I really like the carbon fiber trimmings, um, especially around here. It's really, really shiny and vibrant. The carbon fiber here as well, and mm. the meshing here, yep. um, all look really good. Um, even the small badging, the V12 6.5 liter badging looks good. Um, downsides for me would be these parts. I'm not sure what they're called. They look kind of plasticky. Um, and I'm not sure what this is called, but I think it's the valve covers. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has more of a sandblasted grainy finish on the real car, whereas this is smooth, but I could be wrong. Mm. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, I think, like what you said, the, the carbon fiber work in the engine bay is great, right? All around the engine bay, not just on the... On the uh... <laughs> The, yeah, but the cam covers, right? I guess that's I don't know. I'm not yeah. 100%. We're not really technical, okay, leave, guys. Leave, leave, leave <laughs> in the comments if you can help us. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, but yeah, I, and I think under that hinge work on the um, the bonnet cover or the engine cover, I think is really nice as well. Um, in fact, if you think about it, these hinges, if you compare to other auto arts, these hinges are full steel. And Oh, uh, right, yeah. Right? Some of the other auto arts we've seen is like half steel and half plastic. This is full True. steel. Yeah, and usually they're painted black or something. I mean, this really looks nice. Mm. So, but yeah, other than that, like you said, it is, some bits of it is plasticky and it doesn't have that much depth. So I would say it's an okay, it's an yeah. okay engine bay. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. a millennium, not a signature, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think it's good. All right. So the uh, the very very generous boot space of the Marshall Lago. Yes, very <laughs> generous. So uh, not much to say about the boot really. It's just I think well the usual auto art standards. The flocking is you know the standard is there. Yeah, it looks good. Um, and I think another nice detail as well. If you notice around the outline of the entire boot, that nice little rubber or yeah. plastic uh, yeah. bit. Um, and but well yeah I think guess I guess that's pretty much it. What do you yeah. think? I mean I I think they took the time to make the molding of mm. the flocking inside to match the real car. I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Um, and then the downside is, if you'll notice on the right side, I'm holding it up with my little stick here. Yep. Because the, the struts are not holding it up, mm. probably because it's old already. But the struts do look good and they do function well, they just don't hold it up. Yeah, probably, I guess another minor thing is that if you take a look around the entire, okay, the metal outline, right? Probably, yeah. I, I guess in a real car, there would have been more stuff than this just plain paint finish, right? Maybe, but I'm, yeah, I'm not I don't know. sure. Uh, I'm happy to take my time because you, your hands are going to get tired, right? Thanks a lot. Okay, <laughs> Moving on. Okay, let's have a look at the interior. 
Um, overall, it looks okay to me. Mm. Um, I really like the textures that they used, um, the materials for the dash and the lower half of the dash. Like the, the play with materials to simulate the real car materials is really good. The mm. flocking is good. Um, the seats are okay. They kind of look a bit plasticky. Um, the seat belts look kind of thick and plasticky too. They didn't use the fabric type, mm -hmm. I think. Um, steering wheel, uh, there's no Lamborghini badge on it at oh, all. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of weird. I think the real car probably has a badge on the steering wheel. Mm. Um, otherwise, the instrument cluster and everything else is good. Oh yeah, and also the chrome surrounds on the air vents is a nice touch. It's also on the speaker grills as well. Mm. That's a nice touch. How about mm. you? What do you think? No, um, I, I like, like you said, I think it's okay. Yeah. You know, there, there are certain things about interior that's really nice. Like you said, the chrome surrounds. I think the carbon fiber work on the whole center console and the details, you know, the hazard light button, the the gear, you know, I think this was the flappy pedal. It yeah. had a flappy pedal gearbox, yep. right? So yep. to engage a park reverse neutral, there's three buttons in that silver. It's all yeah. on the center console. Yeah. Um, I'm actually quite okay with the seats. I think these seats are better than what you see on auto arts of today. Mm -hmm. Seat belts wise, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I guess for me to, to, to conclude this bit, I think that, you know, bearing in mind that this is a millennium model from a few years ago, yeah. the interior pales to like a signature, Yeah. right? Yeah. But if you were to compare this interior against, let's say, a newer composite offering of today from yeah. Auto Art, this would win. This would win hands yeah. down. Yeah. Right, which is strange. It seems that Auto Art is taking a, a, a downward spiral in terms it's of the interior quality. Yeah. yeah, but overall, I, I, I do like it. Uh, yeah, let's not forget the fire extinguisher too. Fire, oh yes, fire extinguisher. Oh, and not to mention the door cards actually have some nice details yes, as well, true, true. right? Yeah. So the, one of the great things about this model is the spring mechanism for the doors. Yep. They work really, really well. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty old model and it's still smooth like day one. Mm. Um, on the door cards, you can see the, you know, there's a little speaker grills there, yeah. the SV logos. Um, so yeah, you know, it's all in all, I will say yeah. it's, it's a good, good interior, but not outstanding. Yeah, same here. Mm. Cool, let's move on. Yep. So, conclusion time for the Auto Art Lamborghini <gasps> Merchant Lago LP670 Dash for SV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think from my perspective, I really like this model, right? Yeah. So, you know, in terms of its presence, yep. right, in terms of the color, especially, um, in terms of the fine details which Auto Art did do right, in terms of the meshing, some of the paint combinations, the wheels, the, you know, the brake discs, the calipers. Right. Right. And especially the rear, man. God, I love the rear yeah, model. Yeah, um, the detail. It's so, you know, I, I, I really do think, we do know that, yes, you know, some of it does have its fallings, you know, in, in some areas. But again, this is not a full-blown signature model. Yes. So from my perspective, I think, give, especially given how much that we both paid for our respective models. Yeah, we got, we got them we for got, a steal. Yeah, yeah, relatively slick yeah. deal. Right? I got mine in Hong Kong. You yeah. got yours uh, locally. Kind of here yeah. locally, right? Um, I'm giving this, believe it or not, a 9 out of 10. What? <laughs> oh my god! You should see my face and I'm in shock. How the heck did this beat the E30 M3 from it, last week? It beats week? the E30 M3 because I think the E30 M3 had more fallings uh, compared to this. Like, you know, the cheap little uh, land indicators here and there, so and so forth. I okay. think this has less fallings, in my okay. opinion. Okay, okay. What do you right. think? Um, I mean, I kind of agree with everything you said. Um, I think this is an awesome model. They did this in a whole bunch of colors. I mean, yeah, yeah, the yeah. burgundy is, I think, on the internet for relatively cheap too, because mm. nobody wants that dark purple color. Yeah. Um, I think this turquoise is the best color for it. Obviously, Agreed. it's subjective, but it really pops in the display because there's no other car with this color, basically, mm. um, that I have in my collection. Um, and I think the carbon fiber details are the highlights for me, as well as the front and rear lights. The lamp clusters were really detailed, the wheels. Um, the engine was okay, it was good. The interior was okay, it was good, but it wasn't fantastic. Mm. And for all those reasons and shortcomings, I would give this an 8 out oh, of 10. Yeah. That's, that's pretty decent. Yeah, so we kind of swapped roles, because uh, for the <laughs> 30, he gave it an 8 something. Well, they either I get it nice, we kind of swap, but yeah. Yeah, you always add a little bit extra because if it's a BMW model, you always add a bit extra. I, I don't think I do. <laughs> I try to be very fair in the reviews, but yeah, it's true. Maybe, maybe that came across, yeah. <laughs> so, well, that pretty much concludes our review. We hope you enjoyed it. Yep. Um, any comments, you know, do, do let us know what you think. And if you have any requests, um, do let us know. If we do have the model, we'll definitely review it. We've seen a couple of guys put in requests. Uh, yep. We will try to uh, meet those if we can. Yeah, we will try. And yeah, we really look forward to 
all your words of, I mean, whatever comments you have. Yep. Uh, we just want to hear from you guys. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty much that's it. Okay. Until then, uh, until next time. Take care. Yep. Bye. Hands on diecast. See ya.